Welcome to Electron Online. Now we're going to take a look at what second order differential equations look like. We're not going to solve them yet, that's for the next series of videos, but here we just want to understand what they are. And here we're going to talk about the difference between linear and nonlinear second order equations, or I should say second order differential equations. So the general form of a second order differential equations looks like this. So we have y double prime plus some function of x times y prime plus some other function of x times y equals some function of x. Now, we don't have to have some function of x there, we could have a zero there. We could have some other missing terms. The only term that is required to have a second order differential equation is the first term. We need to have an, a y double prime, a second derivative of the function y. Now, what is the difference between what we call a linear and a nonlinear equation or differential equation? Well, first of all, let's take a look at the coefficients here. Notice that for this to be a second order differential equation of the linear type, we have to have either a constant or a one in front of the y double prime. If, for example, we have another function of y there, we don't have what we call a linear uh, differential equation. Here we do have to have a function of x or a constant in front of the y prime and a function of x or a constant in front of the y. Those could be zeros, so in other words, those two terms could be missing. We could also put a zero there, we could still have a second order linear equation. Notice it's kind of analogous to the quadratic equation. Notice here we have an ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. We have an x squared term, y double prime. We have an x to the first power, y prime. And we have an x to the zero power, which is analogous to the y. Of course, they're not the same at all, but it gives you kind of an idea how you want to have a descending order of differential equations. Second order, first order, zero order exponent 2, exponent 1, exponent 0. So that's where the analogy comes in. So that's how you can tell that you have a, a linear uh, second order differential equation. To give you a feel of the difference between linear and nonlinear, we have a few of linear examples and a few nonlinear examples so you can see the difference. Here the linear example, notice we have a y double prime like we have over there with a constant 1 in front of it. We have a y prime with a function of x in front of it. We have a y with a function of x in front of it equals some function of x. So this is known as a linear second order differential equation. This is also a linear second order equation. Even though we're missing the y prime term, this is still a linear second order differential equation. We have a y double prime, we have a y equal to zero. Over here we have a nonlinear equation. Notice that we have a function of y multiplied times the y double prime. That makes it nonlinear. Here we have a y double prime minus the radical of y prime plus one that also makes it nonlinear. Imagine that this was a quadratic equation. You could then see that you would not be able to solve it as you could solve an equation like this with the same, in the same sense, you will not be able to solve this differential equation the same way you could solve a differential equation like that. So now you can see the difference between linear and nonlinear equations. In the next video, we'll show you the difference between homogeneous and non-homogeneous second order differential equations. And then we'll go ahead and give you another series of videos where you can actually see how we solve this. Of course, there'll be a lot of examples for that as well. But now you know the difference between linear and nonlinear differential equations.